Hi friends welcome to biology tutor today we are going to discuss about coffee if you like this channel please share and subscribe don't forget to click the bell button to get notifications coffee coffee is an evergreen shrub or small tree indigenous to central africa and asia it originated in ethiopia it belongs to family rubiaceae and the genus coffea Brazil is the largest producer and exporter of arabica coffee. In India, Karnataka is the largest producer of coffee. Coffee board headquarters is situated in Bangalore, Karnataka. Kopi Luwak. Have you ever heard about Kopi Luwak? It is known as civet coffee. It is the most expensive coffee in the world and it is made from partially digested coffee cherries which have been eaten and defecated by the asian palm civet paradoxarus hermaphroditus produced mainly in indonesia types of coffee there are three commercially important species coffea arabica largest one and 75% of global coffee production from coffea arabica and the best quality coffee is made from coffea arabica it is also called gourmet coffee have half the amount of caffeine as robusta have more pleasing flowers and aromatic properties coffea robusta it is also known as coffea canefora it is easier to grow and maintain they are also more disease resistant and produce a higher yield it contains more caffeine and is slightly bitter it is used in instant coffee espresso coffee and as a filler in ground coffee blends coffea liberica poor quality than coffea arabica and coffea robusta structure of coffee The pericarp consists of external three layers of the fruit exocarp or skin it is green and on ripening turns to a bright red yellow orange or even pink depending on the variety mesocarp it is a mucilage or pulp pectin layer is present underneath and these layers are rich in sugars and has a huge influence on the taste of the coffee bean that is about the mesocarp then the endocarp it is parchment or hull this is a thick shell like layer that surrounds the bean and is made up of 3 to 7 layers the seed consists of a silver skin they come off during roasting and are known as shaft endosperm or bean There are usually two beans, sender cut or embryo, two cotyledons and a hypocotyl present. Chemical composition. Caffeine, it is present in the coffee bean in both the free and combined states. It is also responsible for the stimulating effects and bitterness of the coffee. Coffea arabica contains 1 to 1.2 percentage coffea robusta 1.5 to 2.5 percentage and and coffea liberica 1.4 to 1.6 percentage organic acids are present chlorogenic acid is predominant one in coffee it contributes to the body and astringency of the coffee beverage decomposition of chlorogenic acid contribute to aroma of coffee next sucrose its decomposition product gives color and also contributes to some extent the aroma bitterness and sourness of coffee next protein its decomposition compounds gives aroma next polyphenolic substances like tannins present in coffee contribute to the bitterness of the coffee beverage that's about this chemical composition of coffee next health hazards excessive use of caffeine causes 
undesirable effects on mental and physical health it has same effect as alcohol and nicotine chronic caffeine intoxication results in a number of symptoms that is known as caffeinism which include sleep disturbance frequent urination muscular tension jitteriness anxiety etc next decaffeinated coffee decaffeinated coffee can be used to avoid these effects caffeine is removed from green coffee by chemical methods decaffeinated coffee retains most of the characteristic aroma of coffee processing of coffee processing of coffee consists of removing the skin pulp parchment and silvery skin both the pulp and hull are removed before the coffee beans are roasted for further use two methods employed for this are dry method and wet method the first one is dry method let us look into dry method this method is cheaper and simpler than wet method berries are sun dried for 2 to 3 weeks and the coverings are removed by hulling the beans are cured in curing sheds the product obtained is cherry or native coffee next method is wet method ripe coffee cherry ripe coffee cherries are passed through pulping machines this breaks and separates the pulp from the rest of the bean this leaves a mucilaginous coating on the beans which is removed by various methods including microbial fermentation of beans heap in large piles use of commercial packing digesting enzymes and various washing treatments after mucilage removal the beans still contain an outer hull the coffee beans are partially dried to decrease the moisture level from about 53 percentage to about 12 percentage drying is done either by being spread out in the sun or by machine dryers next one is blending each variety of coffee has its own flavor and other characteristics marketed coffee is a blend of different varieties of coffee beans the blends are controlled for get desired flavor aroma color and strength or body of the beverage from the roasted bean roasting raw or green coffee has no flavor or aroma and has an unpleasant taste the characteristic flavor of coffee is developed during roasting both batch and continuous roasting equipments are available high temperatures of about 200 to 260 degrees celsius for about 12 to 20 minutes are used for roasting during roasting many physical and chemical changes occur what are the physical changes the bean swell in size to almost double their original size the dull green color changes to brown and the characteristic coffee aroma develops in this stage the beans lost their hard horny structure and become brittle with the outer surface still smooth and firm pressure develops in the beans and which is necessary for the proper flavor of coffee next chemical changes the chemical changes include maillard strucker pyrolysis reactions and caramelization of sucrose carbon dioxide is one of the major gas formed during coffee roasting carbon dioxide and other volatile compounds result in an increased internal pressure causing the beans to expand and eventually crack the flavor of coffee is due to a mixture of numerous components formed during roasting these together are called coffee oil and what is coffee oil the flavor of coffee is due to the mixture of numerous components formed during roasting these components are all together known as coffee oil during roasting 
formic and acetic acid contents are increased and chlorogenic and other acids like citric acid malic acid are partially destroyed the ph of the coffee brew comes down acidity affects coffee flavor the more acid tasting the coffee the better are its flavor and aroma there is little change in the caffeine content of coffee during roasting the flavor and aroma of coffee are best when it is freshly roasted but deteriorates on standing loss of carbon dioxide and exposure to moisture affects the flavor of coffee cooling at the end of roasting the roasted beans are quickly cooled water quenching can be done water is sprayed from within the rotating drum just before the end of the roast next grinding multi stage twin horizontal rollers up to four stages is used to ensure more uniform particle size distribution first and second stages performs cracking or crushing the beans into smaller units third and fourth stages leads to progressively finer grinding next one is packaging roasted and ground rng coffee releases entrapped carbon dioxide gas which develops high internal pressure it leads to bursting of package the usual packaging material is laminates packaging under vacuum and degassing over a sufficient time period are methods used to combat this issue brewing brewed coffee is made by pouring hot water onto ground coffee beans the basic grinds are fine medium and coarse fine grind is used in vacuum coffee makers medium or drip grind is used for making coffee in a drip pot or by steeping and coarse grind is used in percolator the material used for coffee making is important stainless steel glassware and enamelware are preferred a temperature between 85 degrees celsius and 95 degrees celsius is optimum for preparing coffee coffee can be brewed in different ways these methods can be divided into four groups depending on how the water is introduced to the ground coffee first one is decoction through boiling second infusion through steeping next one is gravitational feed percolators and in drip brewing pressurized percolation espresso it is very common in italy depending on the way coffee is made there are different coffees vacuum coffee drip coffee percolator coffee steeped coffee french drip french press cold water method iced coffee espresso coffee cappuccino is made by topping one third espresso with one third steamed milk and one third frothed milk filter coffee south indian coffee it is a sweet milky coffee made from dark roasted coffee beans 70 to 80 percentage and chicory 20 to 30 percentage very popular in tamil nadu and karnataka the most commonly used coffee beans are arabica and robusta in this method of coffee production water passes through the grounds solely by gravity and not under pressure soluble coffee soluble coffee is a dried powdered water soluble solid made from very strong coffee brew it is marketed as instant and freeze dried coffee instant coffee it is made by the vacuum spread drying of the brew from ground coffee obtained from the percolation method freeze dried coffee it is made by first freezing the strong brewed coffee and then drying by vaporization in vacuum india is producing and exporting instant coffee but not freeze dried coffee chicory chicory cycorium indibus is a botanical name and is a well known substituent for coffee it is blended with coffee up to 50 percentage in liquid coffee extracts it gives a bitterness 
to the beverage. The part of the plant used is the root, which is chopped, roasted, and ground. Chicory root fiber is derived from a plant that belongs to the dandelion family. Chicory is also known as blue daisy, blue dandelion, blue sailors, blue weed, coffee weed, corn flower, handy bear, horse weed, ragged sailors, succory, wild bachelor's buttons, and wild endive. Benefits of chicory. Chicory is composed of inulin, a prebiotic that encourages the growth of healthy gut bacteria. It has been linked to improved blood sugar control, digestive health, and helps in weight loss. Thank you. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button to get notifications.